Alright, so in this video we're going to do one more application using the law of sine. So, suppose we've got two wires that are supporting a pole. Uh, one wire forms an angle of 48 degrees with the ground, and the other one forms an angle of 72 degrees with the ground. And we know that the wires are 20 meters apart. We want to know how tall the pole is. Alright, so um, I've made my picture a little bit bigger here. So. Uh, again, we're trying to find sort of the, you know, the height of our triangle here. I'll call it uh, maybe, I don't know, H for height. Um, well, a couple things. So, if you kind of look at the big triangle, okay, we've got 90 degrees in the, you know, that's going to be our, our angle in the bottom right corner. If we could just figure out the length of uh, sort of the hypotenuse of the triangle, maybe I should have called that H, uh, but I'm going to call it D. If we could find that length d, I could now use the law of sines because I could say sine of 90 over d would equal sine of 48 over h, okay, and then we would be in business. But the problem is we don't know that length uh, d yet. Well, we're going to figure it out. Again, we know that this length is 20 meters. That was given to us in the problem, um, right, 20 meters, just making sure here, okay. So we know that they're 20 meters apart. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, try to figure out uh, some more angles in the triangle, and I think that's going to help us. So notice uh, this angle is 72 degrees. We know that the angles along a line add up to 180. So if we just take simply 180 and subtract away 72, that will leave us with 108 degrees. So I know uh, this angle will be 108 degrees. Well, uh, if you think about sort of the triangle on the left, uh, again, we know the angles inside of a triangle add up to 180. So if we take uh, 48 degrees plus 108 degrees, that's going to give us 156 degrees. And if we take 180 and subtract away 156, I believe that's going to leave us with 24 degrees. So I know that this angle uh, up here would simply be 24 degrees. And now I think we're in a position to actually figure out D, again using the law of sines. Um, we could say that D over sine of 108 degrees, so D over 108, uh, we could say that that's going to equal 20 over sine of 24 degrees. So again, I'm just saying uh, this length over this angle is going to equal this length over this angle, sine of that angle, I should be saying. So in both cases, well, all we're going to do uh, is we'll multiply both sides by sine of 108 degrees. So we'll have 20 times sine of 108 degrees over sine of 24 degrees, and now uh, let's stick all this in a calculator and get some values. Um, I'm definitely going to round off here a little bit, so so let's see. Uh, sine of 108 degrees, I'm getting that to be 0 0.95. Uh, sine of 24 degrees after rounding, I'm getting that to be 0 0.41. So let's see, if we do 20 times 0 0.95, I'm getting, well, 19, okay, don't need a calculator for that, divided by 0 0.41, um, I'm getting D to be equal to 46.34. So okay, so now we know this, uh, this hypotenuse of the big triangle, we know that that's 46.34 uh, meters. And now uh, we'll just do the same thing, we can just use the law of sines again. So now if you think about the big triangle, whoops, if you look at the big triangle, well, we've got, uh, we're trying to figure out the height h. So h over sine of 48 degrees, that would equal, okay, we can use our, our 46.34 over sine of well, 90 degrees. And again, uh, now we're pretty much uh, there. We can just multiply both sides by sine of 48 degrees. So we'll get 46.34 times
times sine of 48 degrees over sine of 90 degrees. Well, again, let's get a value here for sine of 48 degrees. So I'm getting sine of 48 degrees. I'm getting that to be 0.74 after rounding. Well, sine of 90 degrees, we know that that's just equal to 1. So now all we have to do is take 0.74, multiply that by 46.34, and I am getting the value 34.29, or roughly equal to uh, 34 meters tall. It would be the height of the pole. So um, that's pretty much it. We're just using the law of sines a couple times. Uh, I don't even think we really need to figure out, for example, the angle, you know, the angle inside of the triangle there uh, in this case. So um, that's it. Just a couple repeated applications of the law of signs. Again, you know, there's a side that I'm missing. Well, uh, by being clever and thinking about, you know, all the angles inside the triangle, we can uh, get those angles in there. Uh, we can use the law of signs to figure out that, that length D. And then from that, we can use the law of signs again to figure out our height H.